All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ATS Daily Meeting. Glad to have each and every one of you on. Always a pleasure. Y'all be safe on the road, everyone who is on the road. And I'm about to turn it over to our founder and CEO of the ATS JR Companies, millionaire and billionaire maker, innovative creator from G-Town Galvis in Texas, Mr. Antonio T. Smith, Jr. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. This will be our, I'm going to split this up like a, a presidential address of a collective organization. So not like the United States or something, but of the 16th chapel, whatever, right? Something like that, right? Some collective organization like that. So let me get some congressional stuff out the way. Diana, send me the address from that. Okay, I just see that right now. And then also, I need to know how many people can be in attendance. That is more. So let me explain to everybody what I'm doing. Instead of going up and going to go see one of these venues, I need to know how many people. I'd rather have a plan before I have a... Okay, so I'm looking at it right now online, so I get it. Man. So not, not too... I mean, Pretty cool for camera. Pretty cool for camera. So it looks like this here. This is what it looks like. This is what Sugar was talking about yesterday. This is the Midtown Art Center. And here, like all of these things here. Uh, yeah. On these chairs, let's see. Here's the building on the outside, and then it looks like it has multiple rooms. And this room looks suitable. Maybe this room. So, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I'll say it's fifteen, and that's three rows, that's forty five, so that's forty five. And then that would be ten, so a hundred people. All right, good. So then understanding that we can we can so now what do what I need to do? I'm sure they got multiple rooms. Hopefully, hopefully y'all still what I am doing, not what I or actually what I say is what I do. So you want to do both. Well still what I'm doing. A place like that would have multiple rooms. And I would pick it based on a few things. Okay. I would pick it based on a few things. The first thing I would do is well. Okay, let's come back to this. That's that's uh let, let's come back to this. Deanna put in chat. Remind me to come back to that. Let's uh remind me to come back to that. That's a conversation that y'all may not be ready for. Let's let's come back to that. And may and then put in put in my little private chat, put why I do what I do. Just put that in. It will put me back on track. I'm going to come back to that. I'm, I'm going to come back to that. So since Antoine just popped on, let's get Antoine. Uh, Antoine, as soon as you can hear, let me know how many people can sit at the venue you have. And if you know the address, uh, send it to me if you don't mind. You know, uh, but just approximately, I don't, I don't just just approximately. Um, if you're talking, it depends on if you're talking, you know, seating or tables or what type of setup you have. Um, probably about 75 at one location, um, comfortably, and the other location I haven't been to yet, so I don't, I don't know. Gotcha. He has a, another location downtown, 
uh, that I haven't been to, but he he did respond back to my text late last night and said that he's available and he would love to help. Okay, fair enough. So I'm assuming 75 people seated with no tables, which would drop that down to about 35, 40 with tables. I think tables, so we gotta come back to this too. I'm gonna come back to this. So Dana, send me, come back to this and then why I do what I do, all right? Why I do what I do. So we're gonna, but both of those events and it looks like, is this link you sent me is what is what we're talking about here? I think, hold on, I'm gonna share it on the screen. That's the link for the venue that it's just Antoine recommended, yeah. Okay, all right then. So don't wanna, don't wanna steal his thunder. But this is what Antoine is. He's got a connection here. Very aesthetically pleasing, for sure. We gonna, I'm gonna come back to that. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go some photo galleries real quick. I'm not really worried about locations. All right. Um, here you have. Yeah, y'all remember this. I can. Come back to it. Here's another one. Yep, and another one. All right, all of this is fantastic. Okay, all right, all this is fantastic. Put a big pin in that. We are coming back to it as I'm not even, <clears throat> we're coming back to it because it's a longer explanation of why I do what I do, right? Why I do what I do, it, it will make sense here in a second. This is my last day in front of you before the year is over. I'll see you again, probably doing movies, but this is my last, I think so. I don't think, we'll see. You said Christmas is Sunday, right? Christmas is Sunday, so that makes that would make Monday box day, boxing day, depends on what I know about England and stuff. Oh, my God, I got coffee. Phil just reminded me I made some good hot coffee. There we go. Thank you, Phil, for drinking. I appreciate that. Mmm, smells good. Too hot. All right. Okay. Back to the speech. I forgot why Will's coffee threw me off the aisle. Coffee was so good. Yes. Now I forgot you were talking about, oh, this will be the last time ah, you'll be. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. This is the last time. But let me see. Monday should be off limits if I were to respect Fox Day. Man, I got Kwanzaa, but Kwanzaa can't be different. I could do something different for that. I ain't got Hanukkah, so in December is one festive um, month. <laughs> one festive month. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, Christmas, Box Day, and I'm sure some other stuff. That, I mean, winter solstice. Yeah, you got a bunch of stuff going on. December. Let's see, or well, the equinox is what you would also know it by. All right, so then, Deanna, what we'll do is we will, and that makes Monday would be the 26th. So then Tuesday, so we'll meet Tuesday through Thursday at eight in the morning. So we'll do. Tuesday through Thursday at eight in the morning. I still have a responsibility to keep us all on the wave, Jerome. It's February 1st cometh. It cometh quickly. February 1st. So Tuesday through Thursday. I don't know what days those are. I just know if Sunday is the 25th. It means Sunday is also the 1st. 27th through the 29th. All right, damn. So put that out. Write that well. Also send it to Grace. Grace boo-booed on the floor, so she's picking it up. 
though. Just my made nephews. It what are the nephews made it up. Did? Made it up. Let's just you know. Completely made it up, y'all. Yes, he made up. You call the dogs a nephew? Y'all are weird. Fur babies. Wait, Monica's on. Never mind, Monica. I saw Monica earlier. You're right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's y'all babies. Y'all babies. All right, let's see. Let us go there. 27 to the 29. All right. Now let's go back to these venues. Please make me not wasted my breath. Please take notes on what I'm about to say. One of the worst things that you can do is do something. Actually, I think the most devastating thing that you can ever do is do something and do it poorly. One of the most devastating things you can ever do in life. To do something and then do it poorly. It is not only devastating, it is devastating in multiple schools of thoughts. Pick one. It is devastating to the universe because it is against, completely opposed to any law of success. Therefore, you would activate multiple laws, the law of compensation, the law of principle of multiplication. And the law of accelerating acceleration, you would genuinely, and the law of attraction, you would activate at least four laws I can think of off the top of my head that will work against you. Well, it's not really working against you, it's actually working for your poorly executed plan. And the school of thought that is thick and grow rich. It does not say write a definite plan and then do it poorly. Why persistence comes in next. The seven habits of effective leaders. Well, I have to get the name of the book. You know what I'm talking about. Same seven energy. Seven habits of highly effective people. There you go. Same energy. You, you, you cannot. If you put it in church, then we don't work for Man, Jerome, you work for God. Therefore, coming poorly is to not trust or believe in God, which is for you to reap what you sow. Put it in the Quran. To do something poorly is to be the opposite of peace. The opposite of peace is against Islam. Put it in electrical engineering. I can't do any work with a poor frequency. Get in your car, drive down a rural road of Texas. Trust me, we have hundreds of thousands of them. And turn your radio dial and see how poorly the reception becomes on your radio and how much you enjoy the white noise and static of that radio station. It doesn't matter, my friends, if you do something right, but execute it poorly. One of the worst, most destructive things you can do while you are living. We all know that but we're not conscious of it. We remember, nothing I just, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing I just said that was new to y'all. Nothing. And, and I don't even mean to offend your intelligence. Me telling you that one of the most destructive things you can do in your life is to do something and execute it poorly and then showing you and i don't know i think that brought up eight schools of thoughts how this is universal you knew that you didn't know it consciously in a lot of cases 
but you knew because every time you've come to the starting line of your life and come poorly, whatever you did blew up in your face. I can assure you when this call ends, Phil is not allowed to go to Susan poorly and get away with it. I can assure you that it's not going to happen with Antoine either. You just cannot depreciate something and expect it to rise in value. You just can't do it. So right here, where's where's Adonia? Adonia, I just said so much about your next best move. And Adonia is doing a company in which and Tracy, in which she is going to have to tour. And so is Ibrahim. And I'm not speaking of having a tour. Possible, but that's not what that's not my intent here. My intent is if you have to get in front of people, do not get in front of them to execute poorly. Mm, 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 mm. What a great message, Jerome. Hey, Shelly got a hand up. Let me just wrap this up real quick. I'm going to get to Shelly. Let me just, let me just, let me help you. Let me help you. You say, all right, Antonio, I know that. I know you know it. That doesn't mean that you know it consciously. How many of you know you can get something in your intellect but not in your awareness? Mm-hmm. Yes. In this life, you do not get how smart you are. You get how how you are. You get what you are, not your intelligence. You do not. You're never going. I don't care how good Ibrahim does cartoons. He is never going to get that. What he is going to get, how he feels about how he deserves when he produces those cartoons. Period. Point blank. If he feels 100%, if he feels stadiums ought to come and see his cartoons, that's what he's going to get. It's going to show up in his work ethic. It's going to keep him up past work hours to perfect one squiggle. It's going to make him have a great one-liner and go, man, it's great, but I don't like the cadence of it. You know what I'm talking about, cadence, the, the rhythm of it. I don't like the rhythm of this one liner. The the punchline comes too late, or whatever that may be. And of course, Ibrahim and humor, Phil and humor, they understand timing. You can't even be sarcastic without timing. <laughs> if you're sarcastic without good timing, you're not sarcastic. You're trying to get attention. <laughs> That's what you're, you're trying to do. You're not sarcastic. Yeah. You're cancelled. <laughs> Yeah, you're capsule, okay? I was watching a bunch of Jordan Peterson this morning. I was watching people try to trap him in a sequence of corners, and it just wouldn't work because, well, for one, he just doesn't get rattled. For two, they just weren't good at their jobs. They just absolutely weren't good at their job. They were picking. You can tell that they were motivated by headlines and I never actually listened to the interviews and what this man said. But nevertheless, if you show up, and what brought this conversation on because Deanna showed the venue. So here is one of the venues I'll show you. Here is one of the venues. This is the one Sugar has. So it looks like this, which is actually a good look. And I'm gonna explain why I do what I do in a second. And then I counted about a hundred seats in this. It's like nine across, but I just assumed there was another six. There's a six. So this was 45 over here, 45 over here, which equals 90. And I just assumed that was 10. And why did I focus on this room? I'll come back and tell you that in a little bit. And then here's other rooms inside that. You you can say, Antonio, do this one, but I'll, I'll, well, we'll get to that. Or do this one. Here's another one. But we'll, we'll get to all that. We'll get to all that. I, I will get to that. We'll worry not. And then here is the one that e, not Ibrahim, um, Antoine has this just beautiful, uh, it's a bunch of them. It's a bunch of them here, especially this one and stuff like that, right? All sorts of stuff. 
And then I stopped in my tracks and I said, well, let's come back to that. Because if you do something and execute it poorly, one of the most destructive things you could ever do in life. And if that is true in life, which I've proved that's true, I went to every school of thought. I didn't go to my opinion, Jerome. I went to electrical engineering. I, I did the Quran. I said what the Quran would say about it. I said what the, what, I didn't say anything what Jews would say about it. So let's see what, what would the Torah say about doing, ah, there you go. Obedience is better than sacrifice. That, that, that one of the, one of the sons sacrifice. Well, I love Jacob, but I hate Esau. And the only biblical, well, not biblical, the only tyrannical or tenactical evidence, Jerome, for Esau's Abel and Cain. Unblessed. Cain and Abel, is, that, well, that's the first one then, right? So you got Cain and Abel. Only evidence there is one of them, Cain, brought the sacrifice with a poor heart. It's the only evidence. You can't find anything else. It wasn't because he bought grain or meat because all these things are approved. It was something in the manner it, he presented his sacrifice. It wasn't yeah, the sacrifice. Ahead. It wasn't the sacrifice. It was a lead magnet. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So regardless of what you say, and not do something poorly and expect a good result from it. Go ahead, Shelly. Okay, so um, I just have to say something here. First of all, good mm -hmm. morning. Second of all, I am, I joined Antoine Group because I watch my life and watch myself go through things and it just didn't add up. I'm like, okay, God, what, what is wrong? What is wrong? I know it's in me. I know I have faith and whatever. So when is it going to happen? When am I going to get to that place? And that was my question. Yeah. So I got into yeah. Antoine group. Got into Antoine group. I was an introvert, so to speak. If I don't know you, that was a very hard task to stay in the group, even though we were not in the room together, just being around all these people that I don't know that it was hard for me. And in the group, I overcame that. So then now we've merged into a larger group with another group of people that I don't know from all backgrounds. And it was scary. So to make a long story short, in the group, I said, God, okay, I'm going to take this as my answer. This, you're answering the prayers that I've been praying. The answer is here. And you're going to have mm -hmm. to help me to be able to process and help me know how to move, when to move. So getting to the point for this morning, when I was a little girl, I was raised by my grandparents and my grandfather mm -hmm. used to always tell me, uh, mama, do it right or leave it alone. One morning I was pouring the cereal and the cereal spilled on the floor. He said, go get the broom and the dustpan and you get it up. Do it right or leave it alone. So that grew up in me. And then he always told me, your word is your bond. And then my grandmother would tell me, all you have is your word. So that grew up on, in me. And so it turned it, that thought. And I, I respected it so much because it was my granddad. That's like second to God to me because that's the mm -hmm. only father that I knew. Of so course, I, would, yeah. I, I ended up dealing with, and I'm saying this now, so that I can get some help while I'm here. I wanna get everything that I can get to help get me while we do what we do as a group, move forward as a group. I, it turned into a sabotager because now I was that person and some things have changed where, okay, if I can't do it completely or if I can't do it perfectly, then I'm not gonna do it at all. Or if I come home, and I've left something like I have a habit of putting my clothes across the chair in my room. So I need to sit in my chair now because it's at my desk. 
but it's like if I can't just do everything that I need to do, I open up all the mail, then I just let the mail pile up. I'm not going to touch it at all. So getting to um, what you were saying, I wanted to put my name on a list to Deanna for Deanna to be able to bring you to Florida. And then here comes the sabotager. Well, you know, there's places, you know, all of these different hotel owners there because you've worked there. So there's places you can go. And then, you know, this person has a venue. You can go to their venue. But what if the people don't come because they don't know him or they don't know what you're going to talk about? You got to first find out what he's going to talk about. And you'll have to kind of give them a, a, um, a reason to want to invest and come and see him. So how are you going to do that? So I didn't put my name on the list. It's just like with the gaming. I didn't know what the investment was, but it's like, okay, this is a part of my vision and a part of our group vision. I don't want to miss out. So I just took the leap and got on. So when you said something about starting things and not finishing, that is an area where there's still growth in my life because you you know the saying it says a um oh shoot um a, a jack of all trades and a master of none. So it's like I'll start this thing, I invest in this and invest in that, and I start, but then when I hit that wall, when it seems like okay, the sabotage come and said, Oh, and I see you're gonna miss two days because you gotta do this. And you're going to get behind and you're not going to be able to finish. And then I just stop. So here, what do you do when, how do I overcome the sabotage? I'm reading books. I'm reciting affirmations. I know the word of God. But that is something that I just thought about a couple of weeks ago. It's like, Lord, I'm not a finisher. I have it. I have the, the, the insight. I have the intelligence. I have the knowledge and I have the word, but it's like, I'm not a finisher. How can I get past that sabotager that says, if you can't do it right, then don't do it at all. That part that says you, you, you start, but then when you hit the wall or when you hit um, adversity or hit, you know, turbulence, you just stop. And, and let it go. You know, let your five thousand dollars just go to waste. You invested five thousand dollars. You invested in Carton Sheet. You invested in Trump University. You invested in all of this. You should be a real estate broker by now. But when you hit, when I hit the turbulence, I just stop. Boom. First of you. all, clap that, is, up, that is yeah, that is so true. That is so true, and you're not the mm -hmm. only one on this call feeling that. I know I am one, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people who not wouldn't even admit are feeling that. And one more thing specifically that you said, it's it's not that just the voice says that if you can do it right, why do it at all? It also says you're most likely not going to do it right. That happens when you mm -hmm. internalize all the past, uh, all the previous times that you stopped, you also carry those into the next um, attempt. Wow. So, wow. so, so you, so, so you know, the next time you hit the turbulence, you're not even looking at that turbulence or that obstacle uh, as just an objective person. Let's say, like you hit a bump A, you're not seeing Shelly versus bump A. You're seeing bump A versus Shelly who uh, ran away from bump B, bump C, bump D, bump E, bump. So you're already discounting your ability to even go up to it. Um, and not you, it's just me also. It's just that we carry the previous failures, the previous course <clears throat> corrections, the previous changes. The, so so at, instead, if you sit down and you write all the obstacles you overcame, and it might take you one hour to come up with just three, but having those reminders will allow you to rethink of yourself as someone who actually overcomes the obstacles because I guarantee it. You didn't get here, no matter where you are, you didn't get here running away from 100% of the obstacles. But you just forgot the ones you overcame and you're just carrying all the ones that you didn't overcome. So yeah. if you, yeah, if you actually make a list of all the obstacles, no matter how small it is. I didn't feel like 
waking up, but I got up. If you make a list of all the obstacles that you've overcome, all the times you went low and then got up, you will start thinking of yourself as someone who at least can get up, even if you don't think of yourself as someone who gets up all the time. And that will just give you a little bit more power over that voice. Because guess what? If you run away from the next obstacle, that voice just gets stronger. Amen. Good, good. Absolutely. You. Uh, nope, nope. Absolutely. You're very welcome. Thank you. That's why I, wanna, I want you to get out of him. I want to make sure that she got every word out, okay? I want to make sure you got every word out because this is important. And and I know 98% of this call is hiding behind you right now. I'm glad Ibrahim stepped up and said something. And I, I can give you the psychological. If you had a strict father, if you are a baby boomer or generation X, if you have a religious background, if you are a what they call an overthinker, which is not really a real thing. Or if you have any left brain thinking of any sort, if you were raised by your parents, which is everybody, or if you're raised by your grandparents, which is everybody, you fall in this category. This is something you have to override. <clears throat> Let's go to the heart of the issue first. I took some short notes while you were talking. The first thing I want y'all to do is I want you to receive that Shelly and everything Shelly said was 100% right. It needs no correction. And everything that Ibrahim said was 100% right. That was actually beautiful. I'm glad I got it recorded because somebody needed to hear what Ibrahim said. I need you to understand that the flaw comes in, you made a meaning out of what I said and what your grandpa said. Neither one of us said that. Our brains are meaning machines. Listen to what she said. She started off by saying, she said, if you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. If you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. If you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. And it became a meaning. And she, she did it on her own. I listened to it. And then about five words later, Phil, she said, so it's not going to be perfect. And that, and then see, see, anybody say that? Nobody said anything about perfection. There's an unintended word or, or, or understood word in this sentence when you do something right. Just like I say, sit down, Grace. What's, if I say sit down, Grace, that is a full sentence, correct? Correct. Why is that one word a full sentence? It's an action. It ha true, but an action, but there's no, there's no, there's no subject. A verb in oh, this well, case. It's intended that yeah. you sit down. Just so it's an understood subject. Because I, because, yeah, yeah, because I fill in the gaps. That's it's the right. same. It's shut up. It's same thing. Shut up is you shut up. It always has a silent. You shut your breaker. mouth up. Yeah. You know? uh, it's like yeah. the whole. It's, <laughs> exactly. not just, it's not just who has to shut up. It's also what they have to shut up. All of that's implied. Right. Just like the sentence, do it right, has an understood verb or understood modifier. We'll call it a modifier just to keep everyone on the right page. Do it right spirit. Do it with the right spirit. Do it with the right spirit. Do it with the right spirit. Under no circumstances will you ever on this planet do something correctly. Let me just help y'all out. Let me just help all of you out right now. Let me just go against all your brains, all your teachings, every meaningful thing you've ever done in your life, you messed that up. I dare you. I, I dare you to push back. You raised your kids, backed up, and you did a beautiful job. You did it right. You was a child, jacked up. You didn't do it. You didn't, you wasn't a kid correctly. Oh, no. See, see, there we go. You wasn't a parent correctly. You didn't run the race correctly. 
It's not about perfection. Perfection actually comes from a very, very bad place of low self-esteem. So, so just, I got plenty to say because I wrote down notes, but just, I want you to receive first that when it is told to you, do it right. One of the most destructive things you can ever do to your life, Jerome, is to do something. And listen to what I said. With a poor spirit is exactly what I said. I actually translated it for you. Nobody heard that though. What you heard was, do it right. One of the most destructive things that you can do in your life is to show up to a task Antonio T. Smith Jr. Yes, ma'am. I just want to say this. I knew that you had to mean in heart or in spirit because I'm just going to say this because every Sunday I get in front of people and there are some things that I'm doing behind the scenes. Like uh, it's a lot of things trying to do the work, but I'm not even trying to do mm -hmm. all this stuff. I'm doing it because when I first met you I was told do it anyway and that's yeah. something that sticks with me because I would rather wait until I have everything right and one of the things that you said way back then is that if you wait you're going to continue to be waiting because it's never going to be right no so, nobody um, knows what they're doing right so I just wanted to say that yeah, because I do no, it. No, I'm anyway. glad. I'm glad you did. Yeah, I'm glad you did. And then somebody and for you to do it anyway and get on camera is 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 a is a miracle. In fact, y'all do me a favor and clap for her. Every time she get on camera, I want y'all to clap for her because this is real talk. That's like having you know her face lock up until she's on camera. It's like having a cleft lip. You know, that's something you can see. You know what I mean? That's something you can see. And when you can see our embarrassment, it's tougher to overcome it. But these people typically are stronger than y'all, okay? Hear this well. I know I didn't say do it right, which means perfectly, because I never gave you like eight examples of schools of thought about spirit. I even took you to sacrifice. Ibrahim even made a joke about Lee Magnus. I'm like, I know he's talking about spirit, but your brain heard if you can't do it better than everybody else, if you can't do it better, then don't do it at all. So we have a lot of stuff to say. Do me a favor. I need you to listen to me for about five minutes before you form an opinion and before you say something. Don't. When a question pops up in your head, dismiss that question. And when a comment pops up in your head, dismiss that comment. I can assure you that you just need to hear me first. There is nobody on this planet doing anything right we don't know what the hell we're doing nobody the only people who are successful are the people who screw up to the laws of success jesus didn't even go to your cross right the honorable prophet didn't even give us the words right i'm not saying jesus messed up i'm not saying the prophet messed up i'm saying if it was right it would only be islam if it was right, it would only be Christianity and the way y'all saying it. This is what I said. Listen to what I said. I said, before you comment, shh, this is why I said that, Phil. Before you ask questions, shh, because I know I'm saying stuff that is emotionally inciting. And I know I'm saying stuff that goes against your teachings, but it doesn't stop it from being true. Don't nobody know nothing. Nobody knows anything. You, you're so smart. You know when your hair go fall out. So you knew that. You knew at five years old. You know, when I get to 35, I'm just going to, my hair is going to turn silver. No, you don't know that. You didn't know the day you were going to start puberty. You don't know nothing. We don't know anything. We don't know anything. And this world is built by a bunch of geniuses who didn't know anything. That's the joy. The joy is since I don't know anything, I can do anything. That is not new age thinking. 
That is not motivational speaker stuff. That is the natural way of this life. And the few people who get that understand it. I'll give you a bunch of examples here. We don't know nothing. Well, Antonio, you making uh, money and not saving it for us. Or, or Antonio, uh, capitalism is a bad thing. But you know what? Before there was capitalism, there were still poor people. And if I asked you, well, tell us about the gender gap. And I'm going to tell you that whatever you're saying is false. Yeah, you know, well, well, uh, the gender wealth gap because men are are have control of the world. No, men do not. So you say, well, women are at the low end of the stick. Remember, I told you, shh, low end of the stick. No, women are not. It's like 25 different reasons for the wealth gap. And if you, excuse me, the gender wealth gap, and if you ain't bringing up all 25, shh, you're not allowed to have a conversation in that conversation. It is that simple. Women will become school teachers at a greater amount than men. Therefore, school teachers get paid poorly. Those men will not. Women are expected to raise children. Those men will not. So Phil will have a 16-year on-job training experience that Susan will never have. There's another, that's the, that's the number one factor. That's the number one factor. The number one factor. And there's so many different other factors. What I'm trying to tell you is, that we don't even know what we're talking about in the gender gap. So we certainly don't know what we're talking about with anything else. Now, when man, men run the world, do we? Because men are also the greatest number of gender that's been killed in war. Nobody knows nothing. And anything you say, I can say the opposite to it. And that's the beauty of life. It's not a devil's advocate. It's the moment you try to be right, you automatically create the opportunity to be wrong. And the moment someone tells you you are wrong, you automatically create the opportunity to win. You cannot be held back by constructs unless you vibrate at them. We don't know anything, nothing, nothing. And I know, I, I, I get that the, winder, the, the gender wealth gap is, is a bad thing. I don't know if y'all saw it. Susie had a little angry about you. I get it. I'm with you. We still don't know anything. Because if I was to go and fix it, how? Like, we don't even know how to... We don't even know how to distribute the wealth. We, we don't even know how to do it. Like, how do you, how do you fix the problem without causing a great destabilization in a nation or an organization? How do you do it? How do you fix the problem without making people entitled now? We don't know. We don't have the answers. And that's the great thing. Because there would be no Martin Luther King with answers. There would, there would be no Mahatma Gandhi with answers. If we had answers, none of us would be great. It is not answers that make us great. It is overcoming the idea that answers make us anything. Just, just give me just a few more minutes. I'm just, shh, I promise you, you get to say whatever you want, and I, you get to disagree with me. You get to interject. Because my only argument here is all of us are right. We don't know nothing. That's the beauty of life. It is the beauty of life. The beauty of this life is you don't know nothing. There is nothing on this planet that is equal. Equality must be created. There's another one. You say, and I'm a black man. 
So let's, let's process this information. As a black man, I want equality. Never going to get it. You know why? Because equality is not natural. Equality must be created. And the only way Antonio will ever get equality is people who have power must distribute it to create equality. And the collective conscious ain't doing that. So I'm never going to experience equality. You ain't got to agree with that. But there's never been two raindrops same size. Your left boob and your right boob ain't the same size. Your fingernails don't grow at the same rate. Your teeth ain't the same height. In order for equality to be made, gender equality, racial equality, any other equality, those in power must lower themselves and lift others up. Sounds like scripture to me. Sounds like the Quran. Sounds like the Bible. There is nothing that we know. So rapidly, I want to close so y'all can agree or disagree. Steve Jobs. Ooh, he was smart. No, he wasn't. Steve Jobs was no smarter than you. Steve Jobs simply had a great morning routine, allowed access to parts of himself that you were distracted from. But he's no smarter. Albert Einstein is not gifted. So are you. There's nobody on this planet doing better than you until you look at somebody and say, they doing better than me. So when Shelly says, can you help me get past this? There's her flaw. Her flaw is she's trying to get past something that she created. This is where I lose the audience, Grace. Since you think you know stuff, you see something in front of you and you go, it's in my way. You don't understand it, Tonio. I'm a woman. I'm a man. I'm black. I'm this. She even said I'm an introvert. Use it incorrectly. A shy. You right? But it's okay. I didn't say anything. I mean, I'm this. I'm this. And Tony, I'm this. I'm this. Diana, I'm that. I'm that. Here's the deal. Since we are so smart, Otis, we see these things, and then we try to overcome them. But energy can never be created. Can never be destroyed. Only smart people. Look at a mountain and complain about it. Dumb people climb it, go around it, or blow it up. You miss the whole thing. Somebody looked out at water and was like, damn, we're going to drown. Some dumb person said, I think I'm going to build solid objects to float on this thing. You know how dumb the first person had to be to think they were going to float on water? You know how dumb somebody, somebody was so dumb, they looked at a plant and said, hmm, this might heal your wound. You know how dumb that is? It is absolutely ignorant to look at some berries and say, ah, you've been stabbed. You've been bitten by a saber tooth. These berries will fix it. That's the dumbest thing on the planet. And thank God for dumb people. It's dumb. It, it's, it's dumb. It, you know how dumb you have to be? See, watch this here, Jerome. You know how dumb? And remember, I'm using dumb in a very good way. You know how dumb you have to be to believe in your religion? You have to be real dumb. No, 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 no. You, you, can't, you can't look at, Christ can't go, ooh, look at that mountain. Jesus, die for my sin. How, Grace? How? How? How can you look at that mountain and know Jesus died for your sins? You got to be dumb. 
and catch that by faith. We don't know nothing. So when you say things like, I gotta be perfect, you didn't come here to be perfect. You came here to be you. And I know, you said somebody goes, well, Antonio, I don't wanna hear that. Say less, I got you. So what should I be doing? I don't know. There's your answer. So what, so what should you be doing? I don't know. Well, how am I gonna figure it out? Go forth in a bunch of I don't know and let the universe show you what you should know. Imagine sitting in a house all day long waiting for a blessing. How? That's what we do. That's what we do. I, I, I beg, when I'm done, I beg one of y'all, tell me how you sat in your comfort zone for your whole experience and consistently you receive life altering blessings in your comfort zone. And there's always going to be one Jerome. He's like, well, you know what I mean? I, I get it. Just like old boy on the cross got saved at the last minute. I wouldn't take my theology on that though, Jerome. <laughs> I'm not saying it ain't possible, but I don't know if I would just build a whole theology around wait to the moment before you die grace you're gonna be all right i don't know if i do that sure sure you've been blessed with some insight on the toilet yeah sure you have you get your best ideas in the car what you're doing with them i wrote some things down Starting and not finishing. It's a hard problem. That's okay. Is the easy thing about finishing. If you don't quit, you always finish. And if by chance you die before you finish, that's a great excuse not to finish. You're excused. If you die, before you finish, all of us are going to collectively go, you'd have got it if you would have died. You're excused. That's the greatest hall pass ever, death. You need no excuse when you died. We respect all people that die in their dreams. People who die like cowards, we forget in 10 years. Every part, every square in this call, We've got people in our lives, damn, we, I forgot they was dead. We've all done it. We've all done it. That's somebody that make no noise in their life. We totally forgot that they were dead. And the jack of our trades and the master of none is just a complete, I actually post, post the whole thing out there. That was actually a compliment. Sometime during the jack of our trades and the master of none, but oft times better than a master of one is that fool quote. Antonio, why you did that? Why are you saying that? Because it's simple. The reason I'm saying that is because we didn't make ideologies off stuff that wouldn't even true. <laughs> That's a, if I could just post, like we didn't literally made a whole generation of cutback seasons off a statement that never existed in the first place. This is not about, that's why I just was taking notes. So you, I say you are most likely are not going to do right. You're never, ever, ever going to do right. So here's my last words. Adonia says, ooh, I'm gonna make my client my job, my first client. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you how I know life to work. Adonia is never, ever, ever, ever going to do two things. She's never going to complete her plan as it is written down. That never happens. I've never seen it. I've never seen a plan work. Not only the first time, Grace, but work the way I said it. I've never seen it. I've never seen anybody write a plan and it went according to plan. 
two, Adonia is never going to make that job her first client while still having that job. God kingdom can't come until your kingdom leave. How is the great powers that be going to teach her how to ascend past where she is if it goes her way? You're not, you're not, you're not, just, just give me two more minutes and y'all can, y'all can tie it up all you want to. Hear me well. As long as Adonia keeps that job, they never going to be her client. Not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Why? Because faith requires no safety net. What does Adonia do? She's doing what she are. What she are what she, here's, here's what's going to work out for her, Grace. This is, how, this is how beautiful life is. She's going to find out, oh, I already fixed the problem. And didn't even know she fixed the problem. Her investment, her investment account. And she's going to have enough money to walk away and be like, oh, that's what I was supposed to be and did. Yep, 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 yep. She's going to invest in the next startup, the next, the next Uber or something. And it's going to hit, hit big. I don't know how it works. All I know is whatever you write down is not the way it's coming. And tell you, you can't say that because think it's your rich to write a definite plan. Yes, yes. Write your plan so you can then activate the fastest, quickest, most harmonious way. And since you're not omniscient, you don't know the fastest way to get you that. You don't know the quickest way to get you that. And the most harmonious way to you your legacy, your children, and everybody around you. But the universe will always give it to you the quickest, fastest, most harmonious way. And the uh, the likelihood of you writing that down in that manner everybody through experience knows this. We all know everything we ever got we didn't get because we was right. We got Far from feel, I've never got nothing without a burning desire. That's why we got it. We got it. Uh, we looked up in our hearts, heaven, whatever we believe in, we said, God, you're going to kill me or you're going to give this to me. One way or the other. One of those going to happen. God says, well, feel you're still useful. So here, feel us. That's it. That's Antonio's way, crude way of calling burning desire. Kill me or bless me. One or the other. So, Shelly, congratulations to you. Because I got the impression last year, Shelly, wouldn't even say nothing today. Okay, man. Well, you already won. Do you understand what I'm saying? Y'all clap for her. You already won. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. And look, you got to be careful because the, the enemy will make you think. And this is, I, I love this part. The enemy will make you think, I should have got that when I was younger. Lies. Give me a real quick, Grace. I just told Grace this here. Grace, tell them to, to the best of your knowledge. Tell them what I told you, and then I will wrap it up. Well, not wrap up the whole comment. Go ahead. Shelly, the enemy is going to try to tell Shelly, oh, but you're in your 60s now, and you could have been got it. You should be further ahead. What I told you about your 42 years, Grace? That my 42 years, <laughs> first, I've been doing this, practicing the same year 42 times, but. 42 <laughs> times. I say you ain't 42 years old. But my so you're three days old. Right. The 42 years I had was here, and I experienced it that way so that I could spend time with my grandmother. I told her that you and your grandmother agreed before you got here that that time with you and her was vital to your success in this realm. And your grandmother and you decided before you got here, you was going to spend 42 years of pruning. But 
So for one, repeat it 42 times. But as soon as she passed, you was going to reverse that formula. You was, instead of getting one year, 42 times, you'll get 42 years of blessings every one year. Help me, somebody. You're just going to flip the equation. It don't matter how you win as long as you won. But instead of Grace taking 42 years to get one year of blessing, Jerome, she's going to get every one year, 42 years. And it's already happening because now she got a she got a venture capital firm. I ain't even tried to have one. She making commissions. I ain't even tried to get it. It's already happening. Now, should she say, oh, well, I don't get it. She going to win. But should she start being smart and trying to figure out, ooh, I'm going to lose it, she going to lose I mean, you don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Phil don't know nothing. Susan don't know. We don't know nothing. Susan is the best person to bring nutrients out of a plant on this call. You understand? Ain't nobody doing that better than Susan. And she still read books and watch videos on getting better. Because she know as good as she is, she don't know nothing. Antonio wraps this up in one sentence so everybody can get it. Give yourself a break. There you go. <laughs> okay, y'all can push back. Uh, Deanna, we're going to start with you. You go ahead. We're going to start with you and then open it up. You can use that as an icebreaker. I'm going to read these compliments. I mean, these comments. Professional, powerful, okay. Tina. All right. Go ahead. Let's speak. Don't be smart. Just do your gift, and it, it'll open up for everybody else. Okay. I have, I, um, I'm lost on what to say. Uh, that's actually quite quite wise. Because last year, Deanna would have tried to say some BS, well, not last year, but you know what I'm saying. There's a version of you that would have tried to sound good up in here. Congratulations, you get uh, it. <laughs> Go ahead, Phil. <laughs> well, I'm going to push back on you on the Adona issue. Yeah. I, you're you're right that she's got to quit, but she's got when she quits, she gives the her employer an opportunity to be her first client. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I agree with that. She positions that. herself to give the, give her, give them the company she works for because she does provide so much value for them. And I think she can mm -hmm. be there half the time and still be paid to three quarters of her, her fee, whatever. And so I think that could, the, se the second thing is that I mentioned the goal setting from Brian Tracy. He talks about three mm -hmm. points. Three points of turning your life in my life were these. First, I discovered I was responsible for my life and for everything that happens to me. I learned this that this life is not rehearsal for something else. This is the real thing. Wow. So you got first thing you realize you have to take responsibility. You can't blame everybody else in your life why you are where you are in your life. And the first step is take responsibility wherever you are. You're there because of you, not anybody else. Don't Absolutely. be a victim. You can't be a victim and be grateful at the same time. The second point was, was his goals. And then the third point was you can learn anything you need to learn to accomplish any goals that you set for yourself. Those are his three points. Number one, take responsibility. Number two, set goals. And number three, realize you can learn anything you need to learn to get your goals if you really want it. So you go to Brian Tracy, goal setting. Hey, who's, who's gotten these out? Deanna? Oh, you got so what did you think of it? Oh, no, I don't have a box. You got a box. Share it with your experience in dealing with this. I think this is so powerful. If everybody on our groups does this, well, 23 is going to be amazing. Yeah. And hold, hold on, Diana, to... before you go, hold on real quick, Diana, before you go. Now, both of y'all keep saying muted. Phil proved the point. Phil gave, I, I agree with everything Phil said about a Diana staying on half. That's actually my point. And all my wiseness, I ain't even consider that option because don't nobody know nothing. That's kind of my point. 
options, right? You get what I'm saying? So nobody knows nothing. So there's always options that nobody's considering. That's why you are your compass, all right? Now, receive that while listening to what she's saying because the, the, the idea of being able to push, get pushed back, autocorrect yourself, and go, yeah, that's a really good point, is what the point of these goals are. And if you can't do that, you, you're not really catching the point. Okay, go, Dion. I want you to see that. Okay, let me turn off my blur. I haven't started it yet, but I did print. I did get it and print it out. Okay, so I got it printed out, stapled it in book form, but this is it. And it's extremely detailed, that's for sure. I haven't started yet. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you don't worry about it. Don't, don't look at it. You just keep going it says decide the very first the very first step is decide exactly what you want in every key area of your life and then it, it goes through it says your income your family your health and your net worth and then write write it down your goals must be written set a deadline identify the obstacles that you will have to overcome to achieve your goal identify the knowledge information and skills you will need to achieve your goal Identify the people whose help and cooperation you will require to achieve your goal. And make a list of everything you will have to do to achieve your goal. Organize your list into a plan. Make a plan. Organize your list into a series of steps from the beginning all the way through to the com completion of your goal. Uh, select your number one most important task for each day. Develop the habit of self-discipline. Practice visualization of your goals. And then it gives you a goal setting exercise. And it says decide upon your major definite purpose. And the first one I'm doing is write it down clearly and in detail. And then it has the end. So I would recommend y'all go get it and start working on it. Don't delay like I have. I see we're, the we're note in the chat, Antonio. I know, I know you say that for me. Don't worry about it. When when I address it, you you, you don't like it. Don't worry about it. Go ahead, Adonia. You know, I just want to say, Phil, you're so, so helpful and so full of resources. So I I love and appreciate you. <laughs> but here's it. Here's this is Shelly. This is for everybody though. This is what I have learned. It doesn't mean it's right. This is what I've learned for me. Antonio, you killed it when you did your little speech because that's what you just did. Everything in it was was perfect in its non-perfect way, right? But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. even, Ryan, even Ryan Tracy, I also received it and pulled it out. There is nothing in that document that's new. Nothing. And, and I mean, nothing. But here's the beauty of it. At least it's sequential. It's step-by-step step for some of us people that need to have those directions as, as clear as they are. But they're never going to be clear. And I'm going to use Antonia's language. It's not going to be right. Because I promise you, step two or three, you're going to get stuck. Well, I don't know what I want. I'm not sure. You, you, you're already stuck. And then you're going to get mad. And then you're going to say, see, I'm failed. Blah, 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 blah. Then put down, I don't know what I want. If that's the only thing you can think about putting down. But here's another thing I bet you you can answer. What don't you want? Bet you can answer that one. Start there. So regardless of how the directions are provided to us, it is something to give you a start. It will not be perfect. I guarantee you the course I'm putting together, it is not perfect. It may never, ever, ever, ever be perfect. It will get better because of the feedback that I'll get from it. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to impact or influence what I know I went through. I have that negative self-talk. Talk to it. I, I talk to it. When I hear it, I say, oh, there you go again. I'm talking to it. Just get, make a relationship with it. You know, I know you're there, but in spite of what you said, I'm still going to do something, even if it's the wrong something. Bottom line is there's not a person on this call that does not have that moment in time, including Mr. Man that looks good with his, his braids and all what he does. He has a moment. He, he has his moments. We all do. Give yourself the okay, I have a moment and keep moving, even if it's a baby step. Or pick up a phone and call somebody and say, say something to me that would shake me out of this, this moment that I'm in. Antonio, I appreciate you. I had a good, this was a good 
session and everybody should hopefully leave out of here with something. Thank you for letting me say that. No, no, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. They clapping for you. Thank you. Let me, she, she said so much good stuff. And when she said, it's going to get better, I felt a fire in my arms. I don't know. I felt like, you know, it was like, it was like the Holy Spirit, Jerome. I, I felt something good happen. Because because truth, when you hear it, always it has this feeling that's undeniable. Because it's not, it's not that you're hearing the truth, it's that you're remembering your ascension. It's more accurate, but I'll leave y'all alone for that right now. But that's pretty much what it is. When you think about something for a second, because I wrote down for Deanna, I haven't started yet. Cut yourself some slack. The only reason why you printed these goals out by you, I mean y'all. All All y'all, all y'all got something that you ain't did yet. You know why? It has nothing to do with you being lazy. That's what you're going to call it. There's no such thing as lazy. There's no such thing as procrastination. There's no such thing as lazy. Well, I'll I'll let you say lazy because it's one of the seven sins. I'll let you say that, but still not true. That is the truth towards that angle of that philosophy. Truth is infinite. Here's what it actually is, Dion, and everybody listening. You don't have you high on your priority list. I bet since you printed that out, you've done a lot of great things for a lot of people. Help me, somebody. I bet you, uh uh-huh, ooh, yeah. You printed it. You got the, what, what Shelly said, you did the Trump University, and you did the, I forget the other guy she said, you, you did that. But you don't, since you don't have you high on the priority list, that's why you start, but don't finish. Because you've been taking care of your mama. Because you're a good Christian. Like even being a good Christian, a good Muslim can be taken too far. And I know that sounds antithetical in your hearing, but when you literally live your life so much for God and never put yourself anywhere on this list, you end up praying and not executing. It has to have a bad, you can't have a, you can't have a good, vertical relationship with God and a terrible lateral relationship with yourself. You, you're not allowed to be spiritually healthy and broke, conscious and poor. There is no such thing as poor righteous teachers. That is actually something that cannot exist on this planet. You can't be poor and righteous. You can't. It's, it's no different than Phil saying you can't, how he said, you can't be a victim and something. Right? He, he, he juxtaposed two things together. You can't. You, you, you just, you, you, yeah, you come, come, come here. I have, I, you know, I'm bad at quotes. Yeah. You can't be a victim and grateful. Yeah. Also, you mentioned earlier, there's a term for it. It's called the ring of truth. Truth has a ring to it. Truth has a ring to it. So, right. So, right. Now, when Adonia said, you know, you know, even your brother man, you know, I quit every day. I don't. I don't think y'all get this. It's not. It's not a cliche. I quit if I had to. All right, Antonio. Let's be transparent. How many times do you quit a day? I think I quit four times a day. And I don't mean like ceremonial quit, Adonia. I mean like cussing quit because every day I'm doing something. That is way past my capacity. And every day I feel like a loser. Man, I, Grace, I, don't, I, I guess I'm just talking to you. Every day. No, Antonio, I also relate because every day I, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, every day I also feel like you're a loser. Ha! And the trick oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Oh, that's, that's I'm perfect. Dying. Timing. <laughs> timing. 
timing. See, you got to have that timing, right? <laughs> Go ahead, Adele. You Good. Lighten something. up the mood. Lighten up the mood. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think you want to say something, don't you? Oh, she might be good. No, I was, I was actually Ibrahim. That was, you know, uh, that was something. Else. But, <laughs> perfect, but, but perfect, every yeah. day, every it's every day for me. Every day, I don't even know how many times, but it's every day, every single day. What I learned is walk away for a minute, be mad for a minute, and but bring your butt back and sit down and figure it out. Because I get easily yeah, frustrated because yeah. I think I'm supposed to know something. And I get mad when I don't. Why don't I know? I'm supposed to know. I'm supposed. It's that pressure that you put on yourself. So just keep, just keep it moving, you guys. Just keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm out here trying to build heaven on earth. Um, trying to build a, a tour company that ain't nobody ever did. Uh, not, not, not from where I come from, Shelly. Social media that only, well, it's only like four real, four or five successful ones. Man, I'm like, man, look, every day I'm surpassing my limitations, not just by like a little bit. I'm out here doing Elon Musk stuff. And every day, part of my brain goes, you know, black people don't do that, right? Keep real with y'all, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, that ain't for us. You know, you you know we customers. Uh oh, we not producers. You, you understand? We customers. We 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 make the social media hot. We don't make a hot social media. Because you know, black folk make everything popping. Twitter would die right now if black folk leave Twitter. There's a whole thing called Black Twitter. I don't know if y'all know, but I can assure you. It's where all your culture comes from. You don't know it, but all your memes and all your culture comes from Black Twitter. I promise you, just, just I, I dare you put it in Google search. Really, if I quit every single day, and it's not about, it's not about, I, I, I can't say I get back up. <clears throat> I would just say my desire to win is bigger than my ego. That's what I would say. I don't know if I get back up. Some days I gotta go play my video game. Like some days I gotta go numb myself, Adonis. It's like some days I gotta literally go play my video game just to forget the loss I just took, only to come back. Like I literally play it just for that. I, I'm not. I'm not sure if that's uh, that's no different than snorting cocaine for a little bit. You know what I mean? There's no different. It's no different. It's dopamine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play my game real quick. Just so that I don't know if I get back up, Ron. I just know that I refuse to lose. I refuse to lose. And that's all I wanted to hit y'all up with today. So, so when I brought up do it, don't do it perfect, the tours, I mean, when I said do it right, the most constructive, destructive thing you could do in your life is do something. And do something poorly. This is what I meant. So here is one of the videos offered on the tour. It's got all these things here. Okay, It's got all these things. This is what I went. So watch this. When I said, why I do what I do? This is what I meant, Adonia. And please see how my brain works. <clears throat> I would never accept, here's the venue. And I, I don't, I have no problem with the way this looks because it's going to look good on camera. As a matter of fact, the first thing I would do is, as long as the day is fantastic, I would have a camera set up to catch people coming in. And I would stand right, have them stand right here against this wall and say, all right, what's your expectation? I want them to say some minor home trash stuff. Like, that's what I want. Because I'm going to get them to come back in and do the oh my god just got finished seeing Tyler Perry I don't know if y'all know nothing about that y'all don't know nothing about that don't worry but you know what I'm saying if you got you gotta watch Tyler Perry play to get what I'm talking about after so like a before and after I would use that but here's the deal Grace my thesis was my thesis statement was the most constructive thing destructive thing that you would do in your life is to do something poorly so Antonio would not 
go to this event yet. If I didn't have someone, some people, or did it myself, standing outside to usher people in so I can get that film. You missed it, but I'm going to keep going. Hey, Antonio. Then, yes, sir. You know, uh, <clears throat> at one point, actresses, their nudes getting leaked used to ruin their careers. But the difference is Kim Kardashian did it right. Well, or, or her mom mm. did it right. And she Fair built enough. a whole career out of it. True. Very so, true. The, so the difference between you getting caught up in a scandal and you becoming the world-class attention um, uh, example of attention grabbing is how you show up to that scandal. Mm. <laughs> he, he put the whole car in a little, a little muffin <laughs> with cherries on top. Yes, sir. Um. As you get ready to close, um, I just wanted to say to Shelly um, that you, I don't, I don't want, I don't want her or us to miss what she did today, because what she did was powerful. Because as I listen to her transparency and her pour out her spirit to all of us. She kept punching me in my face. And I kept saying, how is she in my business? How does she know what I'm going through? Mm. We're all going through it. But the blessing is about two months ago, the spirit of God said to me, and I think I shared it on, on one of the calls, Jerome, don't forget to follow up <coughs> and follow through. Follow up and follow through. And Shelly, as long as you keep moving, nothing can stop you. Do you hear me, girl? And I want you to think about where you were a year ago, and you came on here today, and you blew the socks off of everybody on this call. And that's not the Shelly of old, but it is the Shelly of old. You're growing, you're progressing, and you ain't seen nothing yet. That's all I want to say, Mr. Smith. Well, no, but hey, man, you ain't messing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to stand in the way of good news. That don't make no sense. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? If you're going to do something. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this works. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no. We're doing this venue. We're absolutely doing this venue. So let me, let me make myself clear. This venue works. We're doing this venue. This venue works. I'm supporting my original statement. The most destructive thing that you can do with your life is to do something and do it poorly. I need y'all to receive that this venue has this room, this room, this room, and other rooms I ain't seen yet. This, I need you to pay attention. And there is nothing about Antonio that would ever allow you to park. Y'all see my little cursor right here? Somewhere off screen. And then walk slowly. And then be confused. You're not, you're, I need you to pay attention. Where are we going? Is it over here? Is it over here? Which door? I would never let you walk into anything that I'm doing. With those questions. This is why I brought up a down here earlier, because she could have done the same thing. I would never let you park and go, uh, which one? Because that confusion, I can't sell to. You missed it. That's all right, though. See, I can't sell to you going, I, I don't know where we going. So if I don't have signage that points somewhere, I ain't doing it. I'm not talking about perfection. I'm talking about when something is in your ability to do it and you do not do it, you are doing it poorly. And it's one of the most destructive things you can do in your life. That's just facts. You ain't got to like it. But I have the ability to design a graphic. 
I can get little little signposts. Hell, I can get Grace Printer and say, Grace, print out four of these pieces of paper. We're gonna tape the papers together and then and then put a stick on the back and say this way. I mean it's, it's a billion things I could do, Adonia. But what I will not do is I will not, under any circumstances, let you park down here and go, huh? Which way? Which way? And nobody is standing here to greet you. I'm not standing here to greet you. Ask them. I did a I did an event with 40 some people came. We remember we were in Houston. Everybody came, some people came down from New Jersey and stuff. And I put on white gloves and a chauffeur hat. And we we found parking because it's Houston. It was like in the in the museum district. And I chauffeured. The event, it was my event, Shelly, and I chauffeur, I put on white gloves, and I drove everybody to the event, and they were confused. But why you ain't got nobody else picking us up? What you talking about? This event is about servitude. I need to chauffeur you. And I put, I, I took out the white gloves. I put on white gloves and a hat and chauffeured people to this event. We had pickup times. Because when you got the, and them gloves cost $5. So if you got $5 to put on white gloves and sit, and, and look, that's, they're going to remember that forever. So if you can spend $5 and make people remember something forever, but you're not doing it, you're doing it poorly trying to get the universe to bless you. It's all making sense now, Brenda. It's all making sense now. If you do something, and you do it poorly, and under no circumstances, let's just walk with me real quick, Otis. You come in here, and you're confused. And I can't control who's parking what. I can't control, I don't know who car this is, and I don't know who's gonna be parking outside. Brand environment. So what I gotta do now, is I gotta make sure that if this is the door we enter in, you got to see that, cuz. You got to see that. So I need something right. I need somebody standing here. I need something right here. Something. And if this is where we park it, I was right there. Park right here. But watch this here. When you walk around, under no circumstances, I'm not going to let you walk from right here to right there without meeting me. You crazy as hell. It don't make no sense because that's 30-something steps. Of poor execution. This is why, this is why 1% of people are successful because they're thinking like this. You don't blame capitalists. You blame the Adonia that's looking at pictures going, I'm not going to let people walk 32 steps without meeting me. So, of course, she gets blessed. And then look. Why the hell? Look, this looks like the front door. See, I looked at it quickly. Right here. Y'all see it? Can y'all see this door? Can you see it? Grace, that looks like that yep. to me. Yes, right? it does. Why, the fuck? Why, why on the planet would I let you? Why would I let you park? Park right here. I am making a lot of sense. I don't give a damn what you say. I, if you do all this driving and you come and you come and you come, there's 200 steps. Boring conversation. You probably ain't even said nothing. Ain't nobody greeted you. Ain't no camp. Ain't no nothing. And then you walk in here and the event. Now, the, I would never do the event in here. For one, the acoustics is gonna sound like I'm in a, a bathroom. So I would never do the event in here. You, you know, you know that you know that that hallway sound, that that church fellowship echo. I would never do it in here. It's just, it just it just wouldn't happen. And I had to put egg crates on the wall just to do it. And then the lighting. Then I would have to put lights up, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do that. I just I just wouldn't do it. It's too open. And then why would I why drunk? Why why would I do the event right here so you could be paying attention to most excuse me to folk walking by? Why? It don't make no sense. So now you come through here and then you walk through here empty. It's gonna be empty. Now what you done did was you done showed up to a dude renting the building. You didn't show up to the Antonio T. Smith Jr. live tour. 
you showed up to a Negro renting the building. If you do something poorly, it is the most destructive thing you could do to your life. Now, then, I have no idea. Probably got to walk through this one too. And people don't be confused. What a bathroom? What a bathroom? What a bathroom? What a bathroom? Need to have a bathroom this way. I need to. I need to have it. It needs to be in your text. It needs to be in your email confirmation or something. You need to know where the bathroom's at before you even get in your car. How do I know you ain't got your gallbladder removed? Y'all don't want to play with me. That's all right though. Then you get in this room. This is obviously the room I would use due to the sound and this seating. The seating, this auditory seating, this fire. And you sell out and you stand here and you put a couple of cameras and you let people see. Wow, look how many people. Yeah, yeah, son. Yeah, that, that'll be on purpose. So this would be the room I would use. So I don't have a problem. See, I want you to understand this is, as this is executing poorly. I would say, Grace, move out of my way. And I would sell 100 tickets. I'd do it my damn self. You understand? The problem, though, is, watch this here. Watch this here. Shelly, if I sell 100 tickets and have this here, I've got another problem. What's going to be on this screen? I'm just going to do it in front of this white screen. Possible. Am I going to keep this piano here? Hmm. Is that something I would do? Maybe. I definitely wouldn't speak behind the piano. It creates a barrier between me and the message. So I would do it in front of the piano. But why would I do that when I could just roll it? But then why would I roll a piano to the side? If I roll the piano to the side, I'm just a Negro that ran in the room. If I call one of my pianist friends and have them with live music, you ain't hear me. And if I get on camera right around here in the center of the room, Grace, and have live music the whole time I'm talking, you, you must. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. Deanna, do me a favor. Will you, will you tell them the flow of Antonio T. Smith Jr. live? Y'all don't know nothing about it. I did it yesterday. You haven't seen it yet. Even if you've been there, you haven't seen it yet because I told you that <clears throat> Jerome, see, this is why I see it. Be, the capitalism's bad. No, capitalism ain't bad. Y'all ain't paying attention. I did this. I tried to do this yesterday. I tried to do this yesterday. This the goal, cuz. This the goal. Jerome, this the goal, man. This the goal. This is the goal. The goal is to pack out stadiums. The goal is to pack out stadiums. So you, in a storefront, act like you pack out stadiums. Because you will never get to stadiums poorly executing in a storefront. I didn't say be perfect. What I said is, to the best of my ability, I will do something or I will not do it at all. <clears throat> you know what, Deanna, don't just, don't just say it. Why don't you post in that chat so they can steal it? Y'all can steal it. It's all good. You can steal it. It's all yours. Now go and read it to them. The opening song, four to five minutes. Antonio and Deanna, mini message, 10 minutes. Another song. Oh, that's supposed to say five minutes. I'm so sorry. Uh, Deanna, 10 sure. minutes. Everything is perfect. Testimony, 10 minutes. So you can have testimonies playing on that big screen in the back. Antonio, mini, me mini message, five minutes. Keynote and Q&A, one hour. Song, five minutes. Antonio, keynote, one hour. That's a whole production, Jerome. I didn't come here to play. That's a whole production. Now, why would I have you just come in here 
eat some fruit. It don't make no sense. Grace, did you know anything about that? No, sir. Because the vision, this, so let me go back to it again. What I started off saying early this morning was not, don't, I have no idea with however you heard me. It had nothing to do with however you heard me. It had everything to do with there is no way on the planet that I am going to let you park over here and walk on these dusty Houston streets. Walk all the way around. What's that? That's like five minutes. You park and you sit in your car for a little bit. Then you get out and you walk. That's a five minute walk of no engagement. Then you walk through this door with they brand on it. And then you walk through this quickly clack. Like, all you're going to hear when you walk through this is your heels. Click, click, click. You got me messed up. If your heels is just, if you hear your heels hit the ground more than you feel the energy of my tour, I have done this wrong. I shouldn't even call it a tour. I should just call it a meetup. <laughs> yeah, walk through this, and then finally you Antonio. get to it, and then when you... Yes, sir. Go ahead. The people should be treated so well and from so far away that they start double thinking the price. Like, am I going to have to pay extra? That's because it. I feel it, like bro. I feel like I paid too little for this kind of treatment. That's it. Y'all hear that? And then look, you got this. This is just, so. This is a great venue. So you did a good job. So you did a good job. But I am not about to take your blessing and show up with some terrible sacrifice. I'm not going to do that. You're crazy. Because one of the most destructive things you can ever do in your life is to show up to something poorly. Ibrahim said it greatly. You should show up and be like, oh, man, they could have charged me extra. And if I ain't making you do that, I ain't talking. That's what I meant. That's how we got on this subject. Adonia, can you see the way I'm thinking versus somebody else in my position that will be thinking? Absolutely. It's a production. You're literally, you're putting on an, ex no, an experience would be the, the more appropriate word. It's an experience. I'm going to leave out of there complete, um, thinking that I can fly. Um, all the all the things of my life is saved or whatever. Of course, I'm gonna go home and I'm, I'm gonna do something different and then go back down. But unless I take an action or pull something out of it, but it's 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 a beautiful. I I feel I actually felt it as you were telling me about it. There you go. There you go. There you go. So here's the deal. Because should I ask Diana this morning? Uh, Y'all want to come up and see? I, 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 Diana, show me that. Give me the address first. I need to see, and I didn't need to check on the property. That, that, that's not what I needed to see. I needed to see what would be my sacrifice. I want to end job. I, I really want you to, I, I want to tell you, y'all out here asking God for stuff and I ain't offering no sacrifice. This is why your life is all jacked up. And all your religions have some sort of sacrificial system in them. So what you're doing is, you're saying, oh, Lord, bless me. I says, yeah, I got you, Jerome. What you want? Man. You, you know what I'm talking about. Look, 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 look. They, look, they don't, in a conference, they know what I'm talking about. Like, I got you. Man, I got a whole list of stuff. What you want? I want this, 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 and that. And Jerome says, God says, all right, Jerome, so you want the mega blessing. Okay. Where's your sacrifice? So I ain't bring one of those. Say less, Jerome. I got you. I'm still going to give you what you asked for. But since you didn't bring a sacrifice, you to sacrifice. So now you fit to suffer for a whole year before you get it. And y'all out here suffering 
You know, ask God 16 things. So now you got 16 sufferings you got to go through just to get blessed. It ain't really suffering, it's sacrifice. You're going to get what you want regardless, but Adonia, did you put in the work and the sacrifice? Because it doesn't make sense that what we call God inspired sugar, then send this wonderful venue and I just roll up in there regular like a Zoom call. Come on, man. Can't do that. That's real tall. I can't, I can't, I can't show up. No different. I can show up. So, but <clears throat> let me go ahead and do it, y'all. I'm going to do it. I am about to bring up race. It is about to be racially charged, and I am about to talk about my black people. You are not going to like what I'm going to say. So, I'm going to show up to my own event, letting you walk around all silent. Like I done came with wrinkled pants, but show up to the white man with a suit and tie to ask for a job to pick up an interview. That's exactly the same energy. I who who is black like me or a person of color? You was taught even when you pick up the application, you need to be dressed up. Who because oh, who yeah. knows what I'm talking about? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Not not the interview. Picking up the application. You need to be dressed up. But I'm going to show up to my own tour less than the effort I give the white man. That makes sense. It was racially motivated. I understand. I didn't mean to be offensive. But if you can actually be like a real human being and hear what someone is saying and not how they're saying it, I had a very solid point. Very solid point. I'm going to show up to my own tour less than I show up to America. You crazy as hell. The most destructive thing you can ever do in your whole life is do something and do it poorly. Every school of thought says so. The Quran, the Bible, the Tanakh, think and grow rich, every great teacher philosophy, English, you can't show up to your bowl of cereal poorly and expect to be satisfied. You can't show up to the shower poorly and expect to be clean. You can't show up to your relationship poorly and expect to have a good one. You can't even show up to a sexual activity and expect to please that person. All right now. Poorly. I'm, okay, I'm gonna be quiet. Shh. I'm just saying. No matter what you're doing, you got to do to your best ability if you want the universe to bless you. You're going you, you showing up to the, to the gym. Don't even work out. Let me go ahead and show up to the gym. Get on Instagram real quick. Give me this picture. I'm gone now. I right, keep doing that. You know, I keep using filters to look good on Instagram. You know what, Mr. Antonio T. Smith Jr., I say Mr. right quick. You know what, this is, you, I, I was trying to figure out everything he was hitting, everything he was talking about. But you know what, I realized, I realized that today is Thursday. <laughs> show out every Thursday. And if you don't show out every Thursday, you have somebody sit in your place and they show out. Deanna shows out. <laughs> Grace shows out. Go, go on and do what you're doing. Speak it. I'm just saying, I mean, I show nah. up to the best of my ability. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's all you. I'm not. Am I, listen, I'm not right. I'm just saying, Adonia, if you're going to do something, you got to do it to the best of your ability. And it just don't make no sense. I'm never going to get here. I'm never, ever going to get here if I don't treat here like the stadium. If you're not going to treat the Zoom call like the stadium, then you don't deserve the stadium. You don't win the Olympics when you run the Olympics. 
you win the Olympics and that four years that you are sacrificing your diet and the sugar habits you want and why everybody drinking and smoking weed, you on the track field or in the swimming pool, you have that's when you win. Because the Olympics is won by fractions of a second. And the dude who ate the cheeseburger twice lost by a fraction of a second and got fourth place instead of second. Two hamburgers, Grace. My dreams ain't worth that. Science. That's a hundred percent science. So my challenge to you, this is we we'll we'll get back together. Okay, we'll get back together. On the twenty seventh or whatever Deanna said, on the twenty seventh, something like that. Twenty seventh, twenty eighth, we'll, and twenty ninth. This Saturday we do have the video gaming class. It's Christmas Eve, but I will teach you how to build. Pipe. Nope. Pong. There we go. We'll teach you how to build Pong. Okay. We'll teach you how to build Pong. So we will do that because that's just too too important. So my challenge to you is I don't know what you're doing. But this is what I want you to do. What I want you to do is I want you to go, ooh, we just got a breakthrough. All right? And that, that's what this is. Like, ooh, ooh, we can do here now. Then I want you to go like nobody else is going to go. And I want you to go, okay, what's my sacrifice for this place? Every last one of you have been blessed this morning. Somehow you've been blessed. Something that happened to you. You got something that, something good that happened to you. You didn't got a call. You didn't got a, somebody in your inbox. And you need to go, okay, what is my sacrifice for when it just got here? I'm not telling you this is a sacrificial universe. It is not. What I am telling you is that sacrifice has its place in a vibration of manifestation. We call it the law of compensation. What are you willing to compensate for what you're praying for? Or for what you're Antonio. praying for? Antonio. Antonio. Yes, sir. So yeah, go ahead. just to just today as you were saying uh just today i got an opportunity to jv to joint venture with someone i actually met on this call a while ago uh nice. and be an image consultant in their whole program they've got a whole program with multiple branches and they want one of the tracks to be image consulting they want me to do it and it aligns perfectly with the image that I am building because I'm a case study. You know, the whole cartoonist persona is a case study. Right. So, so it seems like what they want is what I can offer. So what would you recommend then would be the sacrifice beyond what just I would naturally offer as an image consultant in their uh, program? Yeah, so what... what? Let me answer what I would do. What would you do? What I would recommend. Yeah, 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 because I feel more comfortable that way. What I would do is if I had this big opportunity to be an image consultant for people with large distribution, I would do, I would, I would, I would split, I would buy, I would both end of the spectrum thing. I would get somebody and do image consulting for them at a discount or something, whatever that may be. I may start a discount, I mean, an image consultant class. And then I would take, I would go look at the company I'm getting ready to do. I would do what they're asking me for, but then I would find a weak area and I would fix that weak area over there too at no charge. That's what I would do. I would do it both ends. I would go help the people that who can't do anything for themselves. And then I would add more value to that client as well, even though they're paying me or giving me the opportunity. There you go. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. And the only reason I came up with that answer is because you can't love God and hate people. That's, that, that, that was my thought process in this, this answer. That's how I came up with it so quick. So I figured people are both ways, the people taking care of me and the people who can't take care of me. That's how I came up with that answer. That's it. That's why I didn't want to tell him. But yeah, he, he knew I like, I like saying what I would do. You know what I'm saying? What I would do. That's how I came up with that answer. So if you're looking for the formula, that's what I saw. Oh, the thing that was Josephus. Yeah, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. It's just the idea, 
And congratulations to you, Ibrahim. That's a big opportunity. That's what I would do. Find some area that you can bless him in. And it may, maybe it default back to his writing skills that he may be, you know, no one to use no more. But there's always going to be a skill that's going to keep them set apart. And just because you don't, just because you're moving away from something don't mean it's not going to be something that, like, it's a lot of things I've moved away from, but I still, when I get into an area, I'll still do a real quick for somebody because it's ease for me. And they go, oh my God, we needed this. I was like, oh, well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. definitely been one of the things. One of the things, yeah. it's just me future-proofing against uh, the rise of AI and also expanding into my, um, leaning into my ability to create a narrative, to create, um, you know, catchy titles and stuff that kind of stick. You know, the whole, like, the micro-disruption billionaire, for example. So things That's like that, right. it's, yeah, it's just leaning into that gift. Uh, but of course, a big part of creating a brand is the written word so that I'm not right. going to take my hands off it. Right, which, which makes it more fun for him because it's, he's no longer only doing the written word, he's brand building. So he takes all these skills he's acquired along the way and now they're fun to do again because he's doing his dream. He just happened to have these peripheral skill sets he don't want to live in his periphery. He wants to live in his dreams, and only doing business right in his periphery, which is which would be death for him. But to be in his dream and doing the peripheral, just like oh, I'm not even doing the periphery. It's my dream. That's when you start redefining things and make it good and happy for you. So that's when you put yourself first, Diana, and you don't have printed out goals that you're not doing. You're you're high on your own list. Okay. So my challenge to all of you, because we're done, is quite – oh, great. It was Billy Dorsey was the answer to your question. Yeah. Antonio, what would you – go ahead, go ahead, Grace. Ask it out loud so it could be on, on the thing. I got, if y'all got these questions, that's fine. What would you do as a sacrifice if you were starting a venture capitalist firm? Well, it's, it's the same thing. Again. So here we go. You, you, you're saying – Give me my dream. So what you're doing is you're honoring God. You're saying, oh, I'm going to do all this stuff. All right. You, what you're lacking at is man. Because you can't love God and hate people. You just can't do it. It's not appropriate. It's actually, it's, it's, in a, it's grossly irresponsible. And it's, it's one of the major curses of life. So back to you now. If you want to live off your money, then what you do is you become this agency of money for people. Whoever, whoever your current clients are, you help them get more money and then you go backwards. And then maybe in your case, you create classes or, or live videos on your own page that two years from now, people see you are already set in the venture capitalist path. And that's just content that people can, you know, consume like Gary V. It's the same concept. So concisely, you're you're not going to be able to make money by not making other people money. It's it's the same thing that's been said over and over. In order to make yourself wealthy, you must make other people wealthy. That's not a new age thinking. That is the formula for life. I'm sorry. You don't have to like it. You don't have to accept it. But Justin doesn't do well in life because he's selfish. He does well in life because he helps a lot of other people be well in life. I don't control this. You know what I'm saying? This, is a, this isn't my doing. This isn't my preference. I would prefer all of y'all just give me all your money. Well, I do nothing, but that ain't how the universe works. Therefore, I have to do these calls and answer your question and give you everything I have and do everything other everything else that I do. You understand? Like like I said, I wouldn't go put out another reel without the sub catch sub catches with that thing. So I wound up putting out a little story yesterday that well, it was a reel, but it was different though. It had no words. It just had music. You know something? It had no words. The one with because, the one. Yep. That yep. was that was fire. That was fire. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because because I have a now 
am I going to put everything out with captions? Probably not. But I need to make a very good effort to do it first. So there's a time and place. There's a time and place to just throw something up. You know I can't, while I want to compete with Gary Vee, until I hire Gary Vee's team, I can't look at his highlights and then try to bring it back to my company. Remember, most people just out there posting their highlights. Don't judge your success by what Grant Cardone has put on the internet. You don't see him in a deal he had to walk past. You, you don't get to see that. You just don't get to see that. So you got to be careful of how you will present yourself. So in, in his finality, because I got a hard stop at 10 o'clock at another meeting, you, you suck if you do not, it's a technical term, by the way, you suck if you do not do everything that you're doing with the spirit of excellence. Why, Antonio? Why, 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 why? Why are you saying this? Why, why, why? None of us know what we're doing. That means every, that means that we have all our plans to get messed up. You know when they don't get messed up, don't you? When there's no karma you need to pay for. That's it. That's it. If you believe in God, God will bless your motives before God blesses your plan. And again, I say that's every sacred text. It got nothing to do with me. Your motives. Does it take too long? I've never been blessed by God on my timing. You hear me? I don't know about, you know, Bill, Susan, and Melissa, and Grace. They always get blessed on time. If you let my brain say it, my brain say everybody get blessed on time to me. You know, that's what my brain say, you know, <laughs> victim, you know, I'm a victim. Everything I got came too late. So you got to get out that mentality and just be grateful that you know it's already here and you don't have that problem. Not that it's coming, because if you keep your blessings coming, guess what, Jerome? They're going to always be coming. You're going to have a great prayer life and poor as hell. Ask, believe. That's where you're at. It's coming, it's coming. Well, stop believing and start receiving. Change your wardrobe. Clean your nails. Iron your pants. <laughs> do something. <laughs> you got to do You got to do something. You got to receive, you got to put yourself in a receiving posture so these things work out for you. Again, am I right or don't you? No, nobody knows anything. Nobody knows anything. You don't know anything. The goal is not to know. The goal is to just be in harmony with the laws of success. Well, I don't know them like you do, Antonio. Model somebody that is successful, emulate their moves, you will find yourself in harmony with the laws of success. you got no excuses. Extremely last sentence. Who will be with you always? No need capitalism to have poor people. Didn't need medieval time to have poor people. When everybody was rolling around in Africa, they were still poor people. They've always been peasants. It's always going to be 80% of the people just not living a full life. Don't be that person. Go ahead, Phil, last words on you. Well, there are souls that chose to be poor people to learn about what it's like to be poor people. Very good point. Very good point. You can plan better. You can dominate. Thank you so much, everybody. We will see you in 27, whatever day that is, Tuesday. We'll see you Tuesday. Grace will start sending out text messages about the movie tomorrow. We'll let you know what time. It'll be sometime in the afternoon. Okay. All right, everybody. Love you, everybody. Love you more. Love you more. Love you more. Right, Y'all have a good one. Joy.